good morning. So it is the first week of my master's. Um, it's supposed to be the first day of school today. However, we don't have class, or at least for my schedule, I don't have class until Wednesday. So today's technically a free day. Um, the plan is to first, um, I have to go downtown grab some documents. Second, meet up with Saraf to grab some snacks. Third, um, we're hoping to meet some people of our program in Toronto by Queen's Park. And then fourth is to find Wani because we haven't seen her in forever and she's coming in to Toronto from Vaughn to meet us. So that's the plan for today. So I just went into clinic today, I feel so embarrassed, and they didn't have the data sheets that I needed to collect. Honestly though, my fault for not checking in earlier, but hopefully today is not a waste because I really mainly came to grab um, the data, but I mean I still have things to do today. I guess I just have time to chill until I meet Sarah at 1pm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I might just walk all over the city as I did before, I think I'm just so used to that by now. <laughs> No classes We're not today. Do any work. It's just hanging out. It's I look cute. like a mom. I like it. That's your aesthetic. <laughs> Got my poke bowl. So let's get our buns. Buns, buns, buns. Cream buns. Jenny's my sugar mommy for the day. Yeah! Jenny's literally my sugar mommy. She got me sugar coffee and now gonna give me sugar buns. Yay, we love buns. <laughs> Never liked bread outside of China. I don't know how to explain it, like, because everything we make sweet. is, it's, it's sweet and, you know how, like, it's, it's fluffy soft. and soft? Yeah, like, Asian buns are a whole new level. Arif and I are done. We've lived in Toronto for many years and still could not navigate. For all my immigrant life, <laughs> I've <laughs> lived here. And still could not navigate freaking Queen's Park. We had to ask a police officer. Bun. 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 This is the red bean one. I'm really excited. Green tea one was so good. I think I can't. The bread was too bready for me, but it was really good. Really, really I good. I love the bread. I swear I developed some sort of like carb allergy, gluten intolerance. Really? Over the years. Um, not always. I just don't feel good when I eat them. Uh -huh. I love gluten delicious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's purple on the inside. Mm. Gotta show them. Cross section. As an update, oh, my battery is running out. Sarf and I just met some of the people in our program. They're so nice and sweet. I'm really glad we came because, me too. I mean, th this is the closest we've gotten to a welcome week vibe. I was too shy to ask them if we could take a photo together. I know, I didn't want to post them on Instagram. If I post this, it's gonna sound so awkward to them. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but I just feel like they were really easy to get along with. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy to get along with. That's really nice to see in a grad program because it is so diverse. Like. You're not sure who you'll click with, and the fact that our first socialization with our program members were so nice. That bun is so good. I just love Asian milky bread. It's so cute! I think the address is 13 Baldwin Street in Toronto. Yes. It's a really tiny coffee, not coffee shop, like a dessert pastry shop um, in between a stationery shop and a restaurant, I want to say. Yeah. Buns are a little expensive, but I totally think it's worth it if it's just like a, it's like a happy snack. Yeah. Treat yourself. Yeah. Oh, where are you? So I sound nice. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Wani sending emails during lunch. This is such an adult thing you're doing, Wani. Gotta sound beta. Gotta <laughs> sound beta. <laughs> no worries. I just wanted to know. I was wondering. I was just wondering. I want something that's all cool. And it don't waste my time. What is the HPV shop for? HPV? Drive by myself. 
it is raining. <laughs> and then I was brought up. We wait here to come over. We will have a rain. No one else can feel it for you. That is one of the most chaotic things I have ever done in Toronto. <laughs> in case you missed it, that was us improvising a bed sheet as a three-person umbrella <laughs> during a thunderstorm. There was lightning and thunder. <laughs> as you can see, Sarf is still soaked, but the bed sheet kept us mostly dry. <laughs> Three quarters of the globe's COVID-19 cases. Be patient a bit, you know. So we just finished the first official lecture of our master's program, and I am so overwhelmed. There is a 37-page syllabus, and there are six time zones listed. Our institution <laughs> couldn't get access to one of the platforms because there was a technical difficulty, so I don't even know what the readings are, and they have to send them separately. Sorry, my battery died, but essentially, Things are getting sorted out, but I'm just so confused and overwhelmed. I'm really appreciative of the instructional team putting all of this together um, and doing like, you know, a master's program that includes so many institutions across the world during a pandemic. I'm just really overwhelmed. So that's the update. Um, honestly, it wasn't bad. We had a nice lecture, took some notes, and we'll see how it goes from there. It's probably just the first week of busy things. I'm gonna nap. I can't like deal with this. It is currently 12.52 a.m. I have procrastinated so much. I have gone downstairs, taken a break. I have cleared out my desk, which took quite a bit because I also wanted to clear out one drawer. And now I'm just gonna try to finish watching one of the videos for a course. It's kind of like the course intro that we should know. That way we're not wasting time during class asking questions about it. I'm gonna finish this video tonight. I still have readings to do tomorrow before a lecture. I'm just all over the place, but hopefully I'll have Friday and the weekend to catch up on some reading and organization because I don't think I have the course organized and I like to have things written down all in one place and mentally be able to know where I need to go, like websites and platforms to extract information. So um, for this course, I'm currently watching a video on everything is on Avenue to Learn at McMaster. So I have put that little notation everywhere on my notes that way i remember that's where i need to go if i want to find more information by the end of this week my goal is to have my master doc of deadlines down so i like to create this notion deadlines table with all the deadlines that i know of um, for this whole entire semester i've also recently started one for the readings i need to do throughout this whole semester and i've linked them to the pages i've created for each class Hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have it done. That's one of my deadlines and I'll be able to show you kind of like the setup I am starting off my master's degree with. So no more procrastination. I'm gonna finish watching this video and then I'll go to sleep and I'll see y'all tomorrow. So this morning, the vibe is to finish my reading that I didn't complete last night, um, and I am going to take some quick notes on it. I personally use Notion. I find that the colors, the callouts, and the toggle, all these features make the note-taking process a lot more engaging for myself, and you can also embed links, and I screenshot slides and put them in. Um, personally, I find this a lot more fun than using a Google Doc or um, Microsoft Word or anything like that, and it motivates me to study. So that's this morning. I also have a lecture and a tutorial today. They're both on Microsoft Teams. 
so hopefully I finish this reading before then because it is a required reading um, and we'll see how things go. Let's get into it. So we just finished today's lecture and I'm trying to milk all six minutes of break that I get between now and tutorial time. Probably just gonna eat some snacks. I can go next. My name is Johnny. And one thing that I want you to know, we produced a 100% online musical. Yeah, it was okay. I like her TA. She's super nice and so interesting. to grab Tenzin. We've got a study date today at the library. I'm really excited. I haven't been to a library, local library in so long. It's kind of crazy The kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I'd feel so safe in your Do you sit beside people when you like eat with them? Sometimes, depends, depends on what we're eating. Thank you for sharing it. Ah, bee! <laughs> we moved because the bee was following that table. Mm. Not following, but like the bee was just around. And I'm scared of bees. Mm. I'm scared of all bugs, actually. We are back, <laughs> and Tenzin has work to do. Yes. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna watch a lecture. <laughs> It is currently 12.43 a.m., not an ideal time. I've been trying to sleep earlier, or at least get ready for bed earlier um, in the night, but it is what it is. Uh, as for my note taking, I have now basically completely transitioned over to using Notion. I just find that the colorfulness and the layout just engages me a lot more and motivates me to take notes and to complete academic activities. Whereas I found in the past when I use Word documents or Google Docs, I spent a lot of time formatting things so that it is aesthetic or easy for me to scan the page. Just took too much time to the point where I wasn't getting things done. And honestly, I preferred handwritten notes over Google Doc or Word Doc. But as I learned in second year of undergrad, it is extremely slow, it takes up a lot of my time. It just didn't function for me. Um, and there was definitely a learning curve and a lesson there. As an overall summary for the first week of my master's degree program, I feel extremely overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of reading and outside of class activities um, and prep you have to do. Obviously, this existed in undergrad, but I feel like there's a learning curve and there's definitely a transition period um, between undergrad and grad school. Obviously it depends on your program, but personally for me, I think I'm still trying to get back into the rhythm of not only going back to school, but realizing there's a higher level of commitment when it comes to graduate work. So I do feel overwhelmed. I hope that by September I can say that things have settled a little more and I'm really getting into the pace and finding my rhythm with regards to studying and completing my courses. And hopefully you guys are having a good time transitioning into the fall semester or winter semester. I tend to procrastinate with editing and uploading my videos, so I honestly don't know when this video will come out. But I am just really happy to document my series. Actually, earlier today, I looked over some of my really old vlogs from undergrad. Kind of cringy, but... It is nostalgic. I'm glad I filmed them because honestly there's so many details in those videos that I don't recall right away but seeing that is really nice. It's kind of like a little keepsake of um, some of my experiences. Anyways, I'm going off topic as I usually do. I hope you all enjoyed the four-day vlog that I have made for my first week of graduate school and I hope that you are all doing well. 
have a great day and I hope to upload another vlog sometimes soon. All right, see ya.